Welcome to a very interesting talk to the experts. If you're in ag, you're a farmer right now, you'll want to listen in. I've got Jason McNamee joining me. Jason is a co-founder and chief product officer with Lucent Biosciences. And we're talking about their revolutionary smart fertilizer called Soilios, which is soon going to be coming out of a facility in the Rosetown area. More on that with Jason. But right now, Jason, let's start off with a bit of your backstory. You've been working out in the Pacific Ocean for a number of years, but you've ended up back here in Saskatchewan. Tell us more. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, born and raised in uh, Wilcox area, Balgoni area. My dad was a rural administrator of Bratz Lake in the Arm of Edenwald. And I went back to uh, Wilcox to go to school, play some hockey, and then uh, went to University of Regina and I started traveling west and following my uh, my dreams. I did some geotechnical environmental consulting type work for about 15 years all over North America. And then uh, I had that thing happen to me, which happens to a lot of us. Uh, I had my first child, and I decided I really needed to uh, make the world a different place. And I uh, started down this road of... Uh, uh, trying to make better products, make things that are more sustainable so that my children would have a better future. Which brings us to our key topic today, and that is your smart fertilizer, Soilios. What exactly is it? So Soilios is a new kind of product. And in fact, it's an entirely new composition of matter. And we patented it actually as an entirely new composition of matter. What we have been able to do is we have been able to take... Uh, cellulose uh, and attach nutrients to it in such a way that those nutrients don't tie up or leach. Uh, and they also, and the cellulose in the product actually serves as a food source for your native microbiome. And when your microbiome accesses the energy in the cellulose, it also releases the nutrients at that time. And the timing is actually a really important part of the of the product because the microbiome really only cycles quickly and efficiently at the same time that your crop is growing which is when your crop actually needs the nutrition Mm -hmm. so that allows you to maximize the genetic potential of of your seeds the on-time delivery of your nutrients so what does this product look like Uh, for farmers that may be listening right now and they're used to using their synthetic fertilizers what does your product look like compared to those? Well, ours, this is a dry granular product. Uh, it's typically, it's a light brown to dark brown in color. Uh, it is a pelletized product. The pellets are approximately three millimeters in length uh, by three millimeters in diameter. So almost identical in uh, shape. Fertilizer speak, there's something called a size guide number. Yep. So our product is has a size guide number of 300, which is pretty much identical to most of the granules that you have. So we are typically bulk blending the product with MAP or DAP or urea. And that's it's being applied through an air seeder, either in furrow or as a side-by-side type application. So it applies fairly easily then? Yeah, we just run it through standard equipment. Uh, we've run hundreds of trials all over North America. Uh, as I said, either bulk blend it or it can be put in right in furrow through a saddle tank or something like that. Mm-hmm. Jason McNamee is our guest on this half hour of experts. Jason is the co-founder and chief product officer with Lucent Biosciences. And he's talking about uh, their smart fertilizer, Soilios, which uh, you're at the stage right now where you produce this now at PAMI out in Humboldt. But you've got a facility now, Rosetown, where you're going to uh, scale up. Yeah, that's been uh, Really interesting project. In, in Rosetown, we ha- are repurposing an old pulse cleaning facility into a factory. So currently, we are, you know, had to go through the process of cleaning it out, and then you know, getting the power upgraded and the and the water upgraded and that sort of thing, and order equipment. And so we should have that uh, facility up and running hopefully by the end of this year. That's amazing. Um, what kind of results are you seeing? Um, as you mentioned, you've probably done test plots all over the place. How does this compare as far as yield and crop quality uh, as opposed to the synthetic fertilizers most farmers are using? Well, I, I wouldn't be clear that the product itself uh, that we're, we're working with is a micronutrient product. 
the product analysis is 001510. So it's 10% potassium, 5% sulfur, and 10% of uh, micronutrients. Mm -hmm. And so the application rate is only 10 to 15 pounds per acre. What we are seeing is we are seeing higher plant content in the grain and in the leaf of the particular micronutrient that we're using. Uh, then as compared to a competitive product, uh, we're also seeing uh, uh, improvements in yields across wide varieties of crops and wide varieties of terrain. And we really believe that's because of the, that we are able to feed the microbiome and the microbiome is able to deliver the nutrients on time. And so what we're seeing typically is an improvement in yield of, say, wheat or soy or uh, canola or corn uh, depends on you know the situation uh, but we're seeing generally an improved yield somewhere between like two to five percent sometimes way better and sometimes sometimes none particularly in the case of like last year when we had a drought where yeah. not much work at all in this world we're living in right now and of course you've got the federal government talking about this 30% reduction of uh, nitrogen that they want to see come about as far as fertilizer is concerned. How does your product then help in that whole process, or do we fully understand what that process is even going to look like for most farmers? Wow, that's a, that's a hot potato. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I, I would say our product is, is really interesting and in a unique space right now because just by using our product, you're going to improve your, your yield and or crop quality, and you're going to sequester carbon. Mm -hmm. Because our product is about uh, 60 to 70% uh, cellulose, which is mostly made up of carbon, uh, a lot of that carbon that goes into the ecosystem in your soil becomes part of their microbiome. And uh, because we see improved yields, that means there's improved uh, root biomass. And in fact, we've commissioned a couple of studies and we believe that just by using the product, depending on where you are and what crop it is, you're going to sequester two to eight tons of carbon per ton of our product used. So our product's going to fit right really nicely in this uh, new fertilizer landscape, shall we say. Mm -hmm. And uh, how, that ho how that whole landscape uh, rolls out, I'm, I, <laughs> I, don't, I really don't know. You don't have a crystal ball on that then, huh? <laughs> no, I don't think anybody does that, but I think it's going to be very interesting. I think it's going to uh, cause a lot of innovation, and uh, hopefully there, there are ways that we can compromise and, and, and uh, find ways to come up with something that, that uh, is useful, but I think 30% is going to be a, uh, a very difficult target to achieve. Do you see this being a, much of a difficult sell for you to, uh, to farmers out there, to producers, uh, trying something like your product? I think there, that's, a, that's a really good question. There are a lot of early adopters in Saskatchewan. Uh, I think that Saskatchewan has been really at the, one of the forefront of innovation in agriculture. And there are a lot of uh, early adopters in Saskatchewan. It's actually really interesting that, uh, you know, you, oftentimes people think of uh, farmers as, uh, you know, just not being willing to change, but I have found that to be the opposite. I have found farmers are really willing to try new things and then stick with them if they see the results and if they work. You're listening to Talk to the Experts, a presentation of Lucent Biosciences. My guest is Jason McNamee. Jason is a co-founder and chief product officer with Lucent. And we're on the topic of Soilios, their revolutionary smart fertilizer, soon to be produced at a facility in the Rosetown area. You'd like to find out more? Check out their website, soilios.com. That is soil. EOS, S O I L E O S dot com. And we're back with more of my conversation with Jason McNamee after this break on News Talk Radio. 
Welcome back. This half hour of our experts is a presentation of Lucent Biosciences. I'm Brent Laux in conversation with Jason McNamee. Jason is a co-founder and chief product officer with Lucent, discussing their new smart fertilizer, Soilios, which, by the way, is soon going to be produced at a plant in the Rosetown area. Jason telling me they expect to employ a couple of dozen people at their plant as they produce more and more of the Soilios smart fertilizer. You were telling me on the break that the makeup of your fertilizer includes cellulose and you've partnered up with the folks at AGT Foods, another great Saskatchewan company. So AGT Foods has been very supportive of our technology because it solves a couple of problems. Number one is it improves yield and that's something that they need as a as a company that buys commodity. They, they need more of that commodity to come in. Mm-hmm. And then number two, we're able to use the fiber from their uh, facility as the base of our product. So they're able to improve the value of their fiber co-product at the same time as, as ensuring a better commodity or more of the commodity that they require for their processing facility. So it's a real win-win for them, and they've been just amazingly supportive. Jason McNamee is our guest. Uh, Jason is the uh, co-founder and chief product officer with Lucent Biosciences. And we're talking about uh, their revolutionary smart fertilizer, Soilios. Uh, is this commercially available right now, Jason, in, in any significant quantities? It is just starting to become commercially available in significant quantities. Uh, we've made our first uh, couple of hundred tons, uh, which is available for sale now. Uh, you can reach out to us on the website for that. And at some of the independent retail locations uh, around the province, uh, it will be available there as well. And, of course, once you get your production facility up and running, uh, potentially later this year out in Rosetown, I'm guessing that'll just make more and more of it available. That's right. Well, we'll be able to uh, produce somewhere around 7,000 tons a year from that facility in Rosetown. Uh, And as the product is generally only applied at, uh, somewhere around 10 to 15 pounds per acre, uh, that, that, that can reach somewhere around a million to a million and a half acres. So we're looking forward to getting that product out there and improving yields for farmers all over the province. And, of course, farmers are also always looking at their bottom line. Is your product seen as an, an absolute replacement then for the synthetic fertilizers they might be using? And, and if so, what's the cost comparison? Well, that's a great question. So we're going after the micronutrient uh, fertilizer market. And our product competes directly against the current suite of products, uh, typically things like oxysulfates or chelates. Mm-hmm. And uh, our product performs uh, better and more consistently, uh, at least in, in our trials, than those products do. And our cost is uh, close to that of an oxysulfate, which is, uh, and uh, it's less than that of a chelate. So we're right in the middle. We're right in the ballgame there. And our goal is to really replace those synthetic uh, fertilizers with uh, this product that works better and is made in Saskatchewan. So you really could be on the cusp of something really big and exciting and very environmentally friendly and at the same time uh, still profitable for the farming community. Agree. That's and and that's and that was our aim, as we discussed in the, at the you know the very start at the introduction. You know, we really formed this company early on to uh, help agriculture transform to a more sustainable uh, industry, simply by providing products that work better, improve your soil health, and sequester carbon. Talk a little bit about improving the soil health. Uh, you know, I, I know a lot of farmers, and I know so many of them uh, stay close to what's going on with their soil, all kinds of soil sampling and testing done over the course of the year. I'm, I'm guessing you clearly see that, too, in, in what you're doing and in the production of Soilios. What's going on in the soil, and farmers have to be so aware of that on a year-to-year basis? I think it's a really important discussion, actually, and it requires some, some thought. Uh, people talk, uh, uh, I've heard people talk uh, about soil health in lots of general terms, but we need to be really a little bit more specific of what we, need, we, we mean by soil health. Soil health is the way that I think of it is a soil that has a microbiome that is teeming with uh, different varieties of life and can uh, support crops year after year. 
products like ours that feed that microbiome that that has evolved in that location for tens of thousands of years mm-hmm. uh, is uh, is going to be necessarily beneficial. In studies we've done with Agriculture Canada, we find that the microbial biomass of soils using our product can improve by uh, 5, 10, even up to 20% in terms of the actual amount of biomass, which is cool. Now, the competitive products in this in this suite and, and uh, fertilizer in general, dry fertilizer, often is salt-based. And as you know, if you're putting salt into a microbial community, you're going to in you're, you're, you're going to infringe on that community's ability to function properly. Mm-hmm. So, like, if you think back to Roman times or whatever, you know, where they used to salt the land of the, of the, of the bad guys. Yeah. And really what they were doing is they were, they, were, they were killing the bacteria and fungi, the whole microbiome in the soil. So we want to nurture that microbiome so that it can feed us for generations. What about your product? How does it work in, say, alkaline soil then? Well, that's a, another great question. Now, an alkaline soil still has its microbiome. Mm-hmm. It is existing in that place, and it has evolved in that place over, again, tens of thousands of years. So if you feed that uh, microbiome in that alkaline soil, you are going to be able to deliver the nutrients uh, effectively. So it works well across a broad range of pHs. And I have to ask you, too, what time of the year would uh, most farmers apply uh, your product in the spring? Well, typically uh, these sorts of products are applied as a, as a bulk blend that goes down with map or dap in the spring. Uh, however, uh, you know, we've tried uh, fall, uh, fall broadcast or uh, it, it seems to work or it could go in after, after planting. Mm-hmm. So it's, it, it's less time sensitive because like I say, the, it works at the whim of the microbiome. So when that microbiome cycling, the product needs to be there at that time. Jason McNamee uh, is our guest with Lucent Biosciences, talking about their revolutionary smart fertilizer, Soilios. People want to find out more. You're listening to the program right now. Maybe you're, you're still out on the combine these days. Uh, take a moment and go online to their website, Soilios.com. That's Soileos.com. And there's all kinds of contact information there. I'm guessing you probably get a lot of interest in this product, Jason. And do you get uh, quite a, a number of people that want to find out more and how they could incorporate it in their operation? The, the feedback's been really overwhelming. Uh, just people, uh, uh, you know, the, it's a, the contact me page on our, our website's the, you know, used quite a lot. Uh, lots of people want to understand more about, you know, either the specifics of the product or where they can get it or can they get it in a, in a bulk bag or can they get a B train or, you know, they, there's lots of those sorts of questions. So we're really happy to answer any questions uh, anybody might have. Jason, I'll tell you, uh, it's an exciting story, and I uh, congratulate you on uh, your achievement so far and wish you continued success in the uh, future with your growth as well, and especially with the opening of your uh, new plant in Rosetown, uh, hopefully by the end of the year here. And again, if people want to find out more, any of our farm listeners, online, soileos.com, S-O-I-L-E-O-S. Dot com. Jason McNamee, been a real pleasure. Thanks so much for your time today. Thank you, Brent. I appreciate it. You've been listening to this half-hour Talk to the Experts, a presentation of Lucent Biosciences on News Talk Radio.